right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. Hello, everybody. Let's get into episode five, season seven of the Basketball Wives. Y'all, we got to honestly talk. Because I'm going to be honest with you. They keep going on about OG's breast and his bra. Honey, her breast is as long as mine. They look longer than cow udders. Let me tell you something. If you're going to walk around with your breasts looking like that, you're going to have to go on and get a reduction and get them suckers pulled tight. I'm not even about to lie to you. If you want to wear shirts like that, you're going to have to do like all the rest of the women. Go on out there. And I ain't trying to throw you no shade, boo. I'm just being honest with you. But you're going to have to go on out there and get them things hoisted on up there surgically. Not with no magic bra no ass seen on TV bra you gonna have to get some surgery done or something I, in all honesty I feel like o, OG is not a girly girl I feel like she doing all of this for this show and it's not her typical cup of tea and she not used to dressing like this on a regular I think she used to wearing her, her athletic stuff and not all this bougie stuff and she wear all this feminine stuff when she got to do a dinner or something and not every day the same goes for her makeup she gonna have to get with somebody that's gonna help her pull her look together because you know she like me, I ain't no girly girl. I, don't, I can't put on no makeup. I can't wear no shirt like that. Because my boobs ain't for that. My makeup, I can put on some makeup, but it's old school. It's 1990 makeup with just foundation and a little eye. All that put concealer here, 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 here. Like I'm, uh, the natives is getting restless on my face. Chad, I look like a uh, homie clown. So anyway... OG wants to know about Ellen and Jackie's little not getting along. And she asked Evelyn. Malaysia sitting up there like some damn idiot. Come out. <clears throat> OG don't know why she cleaned her throat. Hell, I didn't know why she was cleaning her throat. I mean, I automatically assumed because she didn't want her to mention it to Evelyn about it. But if you don't know her, you ain't going to know what the hell wrong with her. Other than need to be slapped the hell out of over there in that damn chair cleaning her throat. So, she missed Redhead the throat clearing or whatever. And that led to a whole argument. And I'm going to tell you something. For Malaysia to go on like, I'm not for the high school stuff. I'll get up and walk out. She's so high school too. She's just like when you go to a private school and you got the little the girls in there that's really really pretty and they always want to be the one to be like want to be my friend want to be my friend but they not no good friend they that friend that want to have a friend with lesser than them and i always want to be see what i got it's so pretty you don't have this but you need to get that even though you can't afford it malaysia comes off as that friend like she too snooty for me and how she treat people gets on my nerves because she try to act like she holier than thou a lot and it's high school too but anyway it, it is a it blows up into the argument OG ends up leaving and whatnot so they get into uh talking about each other's looks and OG wig do be looking bad. But like I just said, I don't think she no girly girl, so she don't intentionally be trying to look bad. I think she just don't have time for it. I think she spends more time training than she do trying to be pretty. And so when she ain't training, I think she just try to slip something on her hair so she don't have to worry about it. Personally, if she gonna play what she playing, I would get a short pixie cut of some type or keep that stuff cornrowed back with a wig on it. 
or you wouldn't see my edges or nothing and I, I would have already been fitted for the right uh kind of wig or whatever but anyway Jackie uh taking act, acting classes with Tammy that she doing really good at um I agree with Tammy they should have told OG about her hair and not uh, Malaysia trying to be shady and have this little wig party and I knew OG was gonna know that it was in reference to her because it wasn't gonna be no coincidence that they was just having the back and forth about the wigs and then suddenly it was a wig party the only person that stupid is Malaysia or Jennifer <laughs> why Jennifer want to call people stupid. Anyway. <clears throat> so, Malaysia basically trying to say that OG ain't no real friend if she trying to ask about um, Evelyn, about Jackie to Evelyn. And OG, to me, wasn't necessarily not trying to be a good friend. She wanted to hear both sides of the story. Let's see what was going on. Excuse me. Oh, I'm tired. It's 10 o'clock. I didn't get my beauty sleep. But anyway, Evelyn talking about she having an em em embryo release party. If you tell me it's an embryo, uh, em uh, embryo release party, then I'm assuming you releasing embryos. She releases a bunch of little, like monarch butterflies, which was beautiful. I love butterflies. I got a whole mural of them on my body tattooed on. And they was gorgeous and all. But I'm like, well, if she were releasing the embryos or not, they keep showing this big old basket. I'm tired of looking at this big old basket like a cobra going to jump out of it. So anyway, and I'm think, I'm sitting up here thinking it's probably not even sanitary for her to be releasing no embryos to, in the public on the beach. They probably dispose of them in the lab somewhere. So this was just them being extra to record like they always do. They be doing the most in this show. So... Tammy and OG uh, sitting there talking, and they relate because they got a lot in common. When Tammy first came on this show, she was busted. She had wig one done, makeup one of the best, clothes one of the best. She didn't have money to go to them high-end, hoity-toity, fancy uh, stores they be going to, getting some of that stuff that be ugly, but ain't nobody really nobody true friend, so they don't tell them the shit ugly. But... Tammy act like she was going to really be a friend to OG. And I thought she really was trying to be a friend to uh, OG. She gave her great advice. Don't let them um, take you out of character or whatnot. But OG did mention that she didn't think it was no coincidence, but she want to be a bigger sport and just try to, you know, she going to pretend and go along with it because... She didn't, excuse me. Oh my goodness. She, she didn't intend for things to go left the way that they did. And she uh she wanted to apologize to Malaysia um and Kirsten anyway. So this is gonna be her time to do it. She had talked to Tammy and Jackie about it or whatever. So they at the party or whatever. And of course Jackie's like, now this is the time, now the time. This is the time. You can do it. You should do it now. And she basically like, Are you okay? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Okay. And she does try to do it. She over there and try to talk to Malaysia. And I feel like she was trying to take ownership of what she did and like truly, sincerely apologize. Malaysia sitting over there on her high, high horse with them wigs and some um, got to be glued and a couple of cobs of corn up, up her ass being snooty as always at the time. Now, she wasn't being sincere. She, you want her to beg you and run behind you? How much more since, uh, no, not that she wasn't being shit, that she wasn't showing ownership. What do you know what showing ownership means, Malaysia? Normally, showing ownership is somebody admit they had fault for something and they apologize for this, which is what she done. What you want people to be begging and running behind you? This is why I don't got time for you and your fake lashes and them drawing on eyebrows. Take your face off and go home and lay down. You, she just gets on my nerves. She be doing the most and just be doing too much. It's too dark going extra for me and she always talking about how everybody else so high school that was just so high school to me you 
you was doing the most because she did take ownership. You was doing your best to try to uh really you need you needed to take ownership for some of the stuff you did and said wrong because you should have said you was wrong for the stuff that you said after she took ownership for the entire conversation. You need to be taking ownership for the stuff you said about her and been saying about her, but no, you don't want to do that. Anyway, so she gonna, um, uh, they gonna start trying on wigs. Everything going great. She got her wig, uh, got on the wig. Y'all, they put a pretty wig on that. If Malaysia can't do nothing else. She owned a wig, a uh, hair and wig line. She had the perfect wig on it. It looked good. It was beautiful. And that damn Christian gonna sit over there looking like she looking. Talking about when they said, Don't, do you think it look good, Christian? No. And now everybody trying to make up and have a good time, but you over there still want to be Debbie Downer. To me, Cece and Kristen can go on and stand in their own bubble in their own corner by themselves and they can carry Malaysia with her and she don't want to uh, act right and and be with the team or be a team player too. They all is, are too sedity, too selfish, and too self-centered to be in a group. This show not for them. I don't know what is for them, but Basketball Wives is definitely not for them. OG, I think it is for her. I think she she should stay and the rest should go. Well, the other three can go. Malaysia, o, um, Christian, and Cece, they can go. Keep OG. Find a couple of more people to replace them other them, uh, them other three stuck up ones because they I'm not even feeling what they uh what they bring in right now. I, I don't like to be around a bunch of negative people all the time. It's just it's just too much to me. Anyway, so CC come walking in. Hey, speak, whatever. But I don't know if she didn't speak to everybody or how she didn't do it. Anyway, she come in and speak. So she talking to oh, just like, how did your party go? I didn't get to come or whatever. And so they quietly talking about it. Tammy, now just keep in mind, Tammy act like she was team OG because she can relate to her, giving her uh uh, giving her her opinion about don't let them take you out of character girl that's my advice like she really gonna try to be friends with OG and everything but then she gonna be over there and be shady and try to throw OG under the bus and be like why y'all over there whispering no uh, what, how did she say it yeah why y'all why y'all whispering and OG and OG just looked kind of taken aback like God, Lee Tammy why you I thought you was, you know, kind of on, not necessarily on her side, but why are you trying to start drama is basically how she looked at her. And OG just told you, she said, she asked me how my party went, and I was just telling her. And then here come Christian whooping her head around, and she's like, well, Cece, you supposed to be like my friend. Why would you even want to bring that back up and get that started when you know it? Blah, blah, blah. It hurt me and all that kind of stuff. Blah, 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 blah. Here come Christian. Here she goes. She about to get started. And it goes back to... <laughs> It quickly goes back to Cece asking e Evelyn who started the rumor about her. This ended in the last episode. Why did you bring it back up after we said it was over? Y'all said it was ended. Y'all said it was done. Then Jennifer gonna try to uh, jump bad over there said if you a nurse, then you know what this conversation is about. If not, you stupid. And keep, gonna keep calling her stupid. Jennifer got the nerve to call somebody stupid as dumb as she is over there in everybody um, business. Started a rumor with Evelyn and taking the slack and Evelyn started why are you speaking up trying to take up for Evelyn when Evelyn did start the rumor and you trying to jump bad and defend Evelyn like y'all sleeping together I done heard so many times before that they sleep together she sure acting like Evelyn her darn man why are you taking up for her like that it's just you doing the most right now you the stupid one and you keep calling her stupid so 
that makes Cece leave, which pisses, pisses Kirsten off because Kirsten says she needs to stop running and stand up to him. And in all honesty, if she wants the bullying to stop, she's going to have to stand up to him and get him together and cuss him out and not back down. And they going to keep on doing it because Jennifer only doing it because she thinks Cece the weakest link. And she normally the weakest link. And now that she see it ain't going to be Christian, then they going to go out to Cece. Remember, all, on this show, they all bullies. They try to find the weakest person to pick on, and that's who they go for. So anyway... Um, so Cece and Christian end up getting into it, which is basically what Jennifer and Evelyn wanted anyway, was for them to dismantle and, uh, not talk to each other. And Malaysia wasn't having that. She went out there and was like, no, nah, y'all gonna have to talk. This ain't, uh, Cece, you not running away this time. This not about to happen. Y'all gonna get over here, talk about it, and get this, this ish here together or whatnot. So they supposed to be talking and hashing it out or whatever. So here come everybody else at the door. What's going on? And Jennifer come running her mouth again. Yeah. I don't know. She need to be chin checked. And I, I know they ain't supposed to fight put hands on each other on this show. But I'm telling y'all at this point. It like somebody need to put some pause and lay hands on somebody on Jennifer, and, and I, I, I don't condone fight, but sometimes somebody just need to be. It don't have to be just no big fist fight, but just gently, just kind of snap her brain in, into working, because I think it kind of phases out, like the power bu button don't work good and it short out, and somebody just need to Jennifer so her power button to come back on. But we we'll have to see. We'll definitely have to see because I don't want them to be into because they're supposed to be family. And I do agree with CC. Why stand around in, somewhere and let somebody talk about you and be mean and be little and be rate you? Honey, I can go home with my man. I can go home and be with my man and be having good sex with somebody that give a damn about me instead of fooling with a bunch of, with a bag of bitches that ain't about nothing but keeping some drama going that, uh, that's so stupid acting. Had to water my plant, y'all. They're so stupid acting. Ain't nobody got time for that. I would go. On, I wouldn't be sitting around either for the drama and be somebody stepping stone, somebody rook. At the same time, before I left, I'd have got her, got Jennifer together, and told her about herself. I wouldn't, you know, just let her have it, have it that easily. Anyway, that is all my opinion for this show tonight. I will see y'all doing the next one. Don't forget tomorrow is the have and the have nots. 